Another example of how real the spiritual realm is. Dozens of Colombian girls are hospitalized with anxiety after playing with a Ouija board. This happened in the country of Colombia. This is actually a very popular game around the world, but specifically in South America, many people are playing with it in Mexico, in Colombia, and many girls and boys are being sent to the hospital. People don't understand the reality of the spiritual realm and how real it actually is. I know two people that have played with the Ouija board when they were younger. One was 16, one was a little older, and they felt the atmosphere shift. They felt a cold atmosphere in the room. One of the girls lights turned off, didn't turn on until they said the name of Jesus. But both of them had the same experience where that little triangle that spells out the words as you're communicating with the quote unquote dead, which are really demons, it spelled out Satan and then 666. Satan 666. It did that three times, both girls, and they were not even moving the little thing that's on the board. So this is real. The spiritual realm is real. It's nothing to play with. It's not a joke. If you Miss the new video game that is out that you can sacrifice your friends and make these demonic altars. Check out the video down below. I posted it down below so you can watch it. I posted this last week. So let's read this article. 28 schoolgirls were hospitalized with anxiety attacks after allegedly playing with Ouija boards at their school in Colombia reports say. The girls reportedly suffered signs of fainting, anxiety, and other symptoms at the Galeris Educational Institution in Galeris, according to Jam Press and shared by the New York Post. The girls were admitted to a hospital accompanied by parents and school faculty. Info on their diagnoses have not been released. Ouija boards were created in the U.S. in 1886, and they are often referred to as spirit or talking boards. They are believed to be a way for the living to communicate with the dead. People think they're communicating with ghosts. These are not ghosts. These are familiar spirits. These are demons. These are demons. This is not something you want to communicate with and allow access into your room. Because once you play this game, you're actually in agreement and saying it's okay for them to enter your life because you want to communicate with them. You want to have a relationship with them. So you're giving them authority to jump on you and then go home with you, which is actually what happened to my friend. She played the Ouija board game when she was 16. She felt the cold room. She had the lights turned off. She saw the Satan 666. And then when she came home, it was very different. She felt like something was always following her. And I told her years later when she rededicated her life to the Lord that she took home a demon with the Ouija board and to renounce it, to, to say, Father, forgive me for playing this game. I renounce any covenant I made with demons, any covenant I made in witchcraft. In Jesus' name, <laughs> cleanse me. Let's continue. I work here in a hospital kiosk and every day I see three or four children arrive after fainting. Every day, three to four kids coming in her hospital. Explain one mother. Parents. You have to move, investigate what's happening at school because our children cannot continue in this situation. Well, I want to tell this nurse, whoever this person is, you can move to the other side of the world. These demons will follow your kids unless you break those covenants in the spiritual realm by the blood of Jesus. You can move, you can go to a new school, you can live in Timbuktu. Those demons have authority in your life because your kids opened that door. It's time to not be ignorant anymore. Ignorance is not an excuse. That's what demons do. They play on people's ignorance and even Christians are ignorant in this situation. So she added, our children always have a good breakfast and it cannot be said that's what's happening is due to lack of food. Okay, so she's saying, yeah, it's not because they're hungry, because they're fainting, because they always have a good breakfast, right? It's not because of food, it's spiritual. This is all so spiritual. This is one of the girls that's rushed to a medical facility after experiencing anxiety and fainting. 28 kids, my goodness. I'm not surprised. This is something, again, people play with a lot in South America. The school is apparently waiting for the medical diagnoses before providing further information. By the way, a lot of people in South America are very Catholic. Not that there's anything wrong with being a Catholic. I know many spirit-filled Catholics, but they have religion, right? They don't have a relationship with Jesus. They're not aware of the spiritual realm. A lot of them are not <laughs> reading the Bible. So they're to totally ignorant to the schemes of the devil. November 2022, 11 teenagers were found collapsed after using a Ouija board at another school in 
Colombia. The Daily Mail reports it was later reported that at least five of them had suffered from food poisoning. I've actually experienced that myself, having food poisoning due to witchcraft. The Lord even showed it to me. And actually, my spiritual mama um, saw it in the spirit. She actually smelled vomit. And she called me. She said, there's a spiritual attack on you. And I said, I can't stop throwing up. I mean, it was totally spiritual. When you're out there in the public and raining havoc on the devil's camp, uh, he doesn't like it. There's nothing to be afraid of because nothing shall by any means ever hurt you in Jesus name. But this is something you need to be aware of and not be ignorant about. So let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on these kids playing with the Ouija board. Do you believe that this is spiritual? Do you think that they're just fainting just because they're not feeling well? What is the coincidence that 28 girls were sent to the hospital with anxiety attacks, the same kind of attack after playing with Ouija boards in Colombia? Please share this video, like, and subscribe. I share a new article every day at 10 a.m. Eastern time.